Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrons for You. In this video, we will discuss about Ulti Shift or V Shift. Ulti Shift is generally used to make a circuit, electrical circuit suitable for voltage to current source transformation. It means that we use Ulti Shift in the source transformation. Now, this Ulti Shift generally helps us to obtain a voltage source in series with the branches having some impedances in it. Now consider this example. Here this voltage source V is in series with the parallel combination of these impedances. Now the equivalent circuit for that as per the voltage shift rule is that this voltage source is now individually gate divided to this these impedances and here you can see that at node A it is pushed inside the node and it is distributed to each and every impedance. Here the care should be taken that the current distribution through the circuit remains unaffected. It means that the voltage polarity should not change for the impedances. Now consider this example here you can see that this voltage source is distributed as per the voltage shift rule here to Z4 and Z5 impedance. Here note the polarity it is not changed here it is remaining same. Similarly, the equivalent circuit for this first circuit will be like this. Here also the voltage polarity is not changed and now this voltage source is given to Z1, Z2 and Z3. These three impedances. The polarity remains same. It means that the current distribution throughout the network is remaining same. Now let us see the proof for that. Now consider this voltage source is distributed to each and every resistances. You can also consider the impedances here but I am just considering resistances here. Now this voltage source is individually divided to these resistances. Now if we convert this current uh, this voltage source and a series resistance into a current source and a parallel resistance as per the source transformation rule the current source will have the value v upon r1 it is here it is the current source is having value v upon r1 and it is having a parallel resistance r1 in parallel to it and now this voltage source and series resistance is also converted into a current source and a parallel resistance. The current source is having value V upon R2 here. Similarly for third uh, voltage source and resistance it is V upon R3 and parallel resistance R3. Now you can see that this V upon R1, V upon R2 and V upon R3 these three, uh, these three current sources are in parallel and they are having the same direction as they are having the same direction and they are meeting at node A we can say that as per the Kirchhoff's current law this will get added so the equivalent current source for these three will be IS is equals to V upon R1 plus V upon R2 plus V upon R3 now if we bring this V common here it will be 1 upon R1 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 and and this let this current source be IS and these three resistances R1 R2 and R3 these are in parallel if these three resistances are in parallel further its equivalent resistance will be 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 which is equals to 1 upon Rp. 
now you can observe that this is and this one upon rp this current source ras and this one upon rp uh, is in parallel with each other now a current source and a parallel resistance can be converted into a voltage source and a series resistance the voltage source will have the value v equals to is into 1 upon rp and therefore if we put the value for is here and 1 upon rp here we will get vs is equals to v here you can see that this vs is equals to v means voltage source is having value v and parallel resistance is having value 1 upon rp now we know that 1 upon rp is the combination of these three parallel resistances so we can put a voltage source in parallel with sorry in series with a parallel combination of these three resistances so this is the equivalent circuit or we can say that the equivalent circuit for this second circuit will be like this so you can see the, observe the, here that this voltage is individually get distributed to every resistances thus the voltage shift works thank you